Oh my. All right. I'm ready whenever you're ready. I'm ready whenever you're ready. Well, I'm ready, so let's do well, this. I'm ready too. Okay. So guys, welcome to Close Your Eyes, a game made by some loser in his bedroom or something. <laughs> and by the way, speaking of that loser in his bedroom, here's that loser now. You know, hey, and like, I am in fact in my bedroom, so you are correct. Oh, well, uh, if I'm completely correct, then uh, that means you're a loser too, right? Yeah. Hi, I'm everyone. I'm Loser Raka Stag Game Raka Dusk Maka Ryan. So here I am. So, uh, Mr. Ryan over here has been a friend of mine for a couple years now, and uh, he told couple. me a few months back that he made a game. And yeah. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. And then he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, you own this game. And I'm like, what? And then he sent me the code for the game. And I was surprised, but, you know, cool. So I'm deciding to play through it because it's a horror game, and I love those horror games, and uh, I haven't done one in a while. What? <laughs> <laughs> Has it all been a lie? <laughs> Continue. <laughs> no, let's just start. I'm completely blind to this game. Ryan, on the other hand, uh, if he was blind to this game, then he would be following the uh, he'd be following the uh, like the motto of the game. Why? <laughs> Why is it beeping at me? I heard the beeping. I don't know why I was beeping either. I don't think it's the game beeping. Oh. I, I did not no, program the game to... I was going to say, I didn't program the game to beep at you. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I you unlock the like... secret ending. Congratulations. Sit on the menu screen for six minutes. <laughs> uh, actually, it's been eight. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's start. The menu on the uh, F12 will reset the game at any time. Default on keyboard controls are error keys. Use enter spacer Z to interact. Escape X or number zero to cancel. Default on controller are those buttons I'm not using. You can change the controls and some other minor options by pressing F1. F2 will show your FPS. And pressing Alt and Enter at any time will make the game go full screen or windowed. As a horror game, don't rob yourself the experience. The game is best enjoyed in a dark environment wearing headphones. I got the headphones part down, but it's Washington, so it's always gray here. Or white. Wow. One of the two. It doesn't actually go night there. I've lived in Washington for nope, periods of time. Never. I do, and I don't by that, it. I mean it's it's 8.30 p.m. and it's still bright out. Well, you've got so. your lights off, right? Yeah, I've got the lights no, off. You're but you're fine, then. Okay. Please close your eyes. Am I supposed to close my eyes? Nah, you can get them open. I have them closed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Yeah. I just realized that. Boys and girls! How y'all doing? Today, our exciting detest is death defying. Death wrong defying, that is. <laughs> really? Brian? <laughs> He's a little tied up right now. Let's go check on him. <laughs> really, Ryan? Yeah. You'll you start off the game with a pun. I love it. Do you have any last words? Then may God have mercy on your soul. Release the platform! Is that you releasing the platform? Yeah. What in tarnations? The damn rope broke! Someone stop him! He's getting away! And there you go! Weeds are growing from up from the ground. I am in Washington, so uh, used smoke to smoke weeds every day. There are pipes sticking out from the wall. Why do I look adorable? I, it is adorable, but it's like an adorable version of the Grim Reaper who probably should have plumber crack. Oh. I've walked the door with a pipe. Someone is drastically trying to get in. I'll tell you this much: you're not the Grim Reaper, but that comparison is very. I, I can see why it's made. Alright. Also, it looks like I'm wearing a belly shirt, so I should be a dancer. I saw that at the bottom. Yeah. I saw that, Ryan. Who knows what it was. Oh, a safe system. Yeah. It does okay. save your game, so... An early lesson. This subway must have been long abandoned. These weeds are growing everywhere. Well, they well, kind of are. Have you ever been to an abandoned subway game? Or let's let's just say a subway first before I ask abandoned. Um, I've been to a subway once. Oh, so I it's 
What do you think the odds are that it was abandoned on the only subway I've been at? Probably very likely. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint, but no. Huh, no. poster of an I. That's not the correct spelling of I, Ryan. I hey, wonder what it's this. for. Are these for ventilation? I don't know, are they? They're vents? And maybe pipes? The route is blocked by the turnstile to the right there. Seems to be a turnstile. It's not letting me pass. I don't have a ticket, but maybe if I find one, it'll let me by? That train security. Yeah, I mean, it's not possible to climb over those, right? Possible. Uh, hidden hag holds the key? No time to be gardening. Once again, I'm from Washington. It's what we do. A work of graffiti. There's a message written on it. Hidden hag holds the key. You read it correctly. Oh, you actually have to press enter there? Yep, well, that's an early lesson. Because they'll be in use later. Okay. Probably useful. This, this poster is supposed to be of an eye? What a strange symbol. Well, Once let me again, tell you something that hmm. most people wouldn't know at this point. It might be a little bit fun if you know it right now. Yeah. Try examining the wall opposite of any eye poster you come across. There's something written here. Follow the witch's howl. Oh. That's not an eye, though. Oh, oh, wait, I can see the eye now. It looks both like an eye and an eye. That's someone on purpose. That's all I'm going to say. Ryan, you're clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now let's head up this way. There's something caught in the weeds. Obtain red labeled cassette. I wonder where I could use that. Obviously, That's on this door big right mystery. here. Big mystery. The door's locked. There's no sign of a keyhole, so I'm not quite sure how to open it. Also, I was just guessing the door's there. I can't see anything but blackness in a door handle. Well, that, the light's supposed to sort of make it stick out a little bit more. Yeah. This appears to be a tape player and recorder. Play the red labeled cassette. Um, what is that? Um, I don't know why they don't use vents or something. The door is locked. There's, yeah, okay. I was hoping that's what it was, but I guess not. Okay. I guess it's this one over here, which By should have been the first one to check. Huh. Seems to be a light switch, but there's no power being supplied to it. Um, what's that? There's an item here. Blue labeled cassette. Wonder where that goes. Yeah, I wish I knew. World of mysteries. Okay, let's uh, stop this. You deducted correctly, Gabe. Well, yeah. Oh, hey, it's not dark. Yeah. Okay. There's an item here. Yellow labeled cassette. Uh, yellow so labeled cassette? Who saw that one coming? I thought it was going to be green. <laughs> Good then. So, my question is, how do I hear it so well from this room? It's a little quieter. So, okay. Now I've swapped out. You don't say. Just a bit. I didn't realize it would sound sad. Open sesame. I imagine that is sesame seed, and I'm just using sesame seeds to open doors now. 
I wonder that's, how these weeds sustain themselves. Sesame seeds could be a good use of keys. <laughs> the a keys good system. door opener? Obviously, just throw them More out the door. Pipes. It's a power generator. Turn it on. And now I can turn on the light in that room, and by turning on the power, I've turned off the cassette. Yeah. What? Was it absorbing all the power? Is that what was happening? It, it's a low electric system, I guess. Yeah, I <laughs> guess not. Um, could I film this without the power? No, but when you're editing the video, pay very close attention to that scene. That's all I'm going to say. To what? To, to just you turning on the lights. Okay. Was this here before? I guess it was rather dark. Turnstile ticket. Yay! Um. Yeah. Fun. That cassette tape, uh. I don't like that one. The old one has a weird backside, I guess, that instead of playing a sad song, it made it better. I saw you. That's, uh. Right. That was good idea work. I mean, good game. job, guy. Yeah. You got that graffiti down quick. They even had to repaint over the whole entire thing. There's okay, something written message. here. She cackles in darkness. Okay. But it wasn't dark, and she was cackling, so I think you were incorrect, Ryan. I save over that, because I can, and I like uh, always being saved, so... Hello? Are you here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting tired of your crap, Ryan. Yeah. Hiding people behind things when I can't go and talk to them? What if I wanted a friend, Ryan? Well, I'm sure you'll make some friends along the way. Truly, the it's about gate is now open. the relationships we forge as opposed to, you know, the journey itself. Your friends were inside you all along. That's the spirit. Oh, there was a... Fine. Fine, Ryan. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah. Um... This is, uh... Cool effect! But, uh... Oh, hey! Mommy, is that you? You're obviously way taller than me. I'm gonna die by talking to her. This I'm gonna enjoy this. This isn't right. This isn't... Where do you suppose we're headed? The subway system isn't in use anymore. So, why are you here? Are you hiding? Did you do something wrong? When was it? Um. Uh, I, I've never done anything wrong. What are you talking about? Did you find? Did you think these pipes maybe are dispersing the mist? Uh, I mean, it's possible. Maybe the mist helps things grow. Sure. I actually thought I would die by talking to her, but I mean, fine, whatever. Not, don't kill me, Ryan. Even when I obviously deserve it. Oh yeah, I deserve death for talking to someone. Yep. She, it said that anyone who steps on her space dies. Yeah, was that the same her though? Yeah. Oh, by the, the same, way, right? don't go <laughs> through that. Yeah, don't go through that golden door. That's the DLC thing. Oh okay. These weeds really do grow everywhere around here, huh? However, they'll keep your previous save file and save in the next slot so you can easily come back here when we're done. Alright, then I'll keep this for later. Okay. Now, who thought putting all these pipes around here was a good idea? Maybe whoever designed the place? What are you? Hmm. Uh, what are you, some kind of design expert? <laughs> it's too dark to see. Even though I can obviously see something there. Freaking liar yeah. whatever it doesn't look that dark in here it's like a mild darkness it's not advanced darkness. darkness it's too dark to see a lighter this could be useful ah uh, much better an eye is staring back at me a poster and I mean I mean <laughs> there's something written here drawing it out on paper may help huh is that, is that just advice for me playing the game, Ryan? In general. 
And for something coming up. These weeds really do grow everywhere around here, huh? I guess it's considered yeah, with your light, room, you can so... go back and see the dark thing. Yeah, I, I figured I might actually have to go up there, but I'll do that now since you're suggesting it. Yeah. All right. Now with this dark thing, a garbage can, huh? There's a memo in here. There's something new within the woods, huh? Is that in reference to that over there? No, but. It's important that you saw it. Okay. New within the woods, so keep that in mind. I'll make a memo in my mind, because I'm too lazy to reach behind me and grab the pencil and paper that are sitting right there. <laughs> You're going to probably need them. Well, that's because you have a really good thought process, but we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. If I waste everyone's time, then uh, I blame Ryan for being complicated. Oh, okay. I'll take that blame. A garbage can. Can't say I see anything of use. Uh, I should kick a can in there and get a thousand zenny. It's mm. one way to save all those pennies. Um. Uh. Hi. Oh my, of course. It looks a bit odd. Well, yes, it is in fact a corpse. How would you know what's odd for a corpse? Experience. These weeds really do grow everywhere around here, huh? I mean, how many corpses have you run into? And if you say one, then you're probably... You know, the other one, the corpse that you saw could have been the weird corpse. Don't yeah, judge it. that's true. You could have seen a weird corpse first, and then this corpse maybe is the normal one. What you saw was the weird one. So, red, yellow, green, blue. Uh, Roy G. Biv. Um, I don't know. Trying to put names to remember which order they go in. No. I, I was more of just like pointing at them and making note of them to myself. I know it was plastered here. It seems to be related to the train system at the station. The train runs in a straight line. There are four stations and different colored door opens at each of the stations. The station <laughs> furthest east opens the blue door. Uh, first station to the east opens the red. This West station. is the yellow door. And then the next one in one on the right is the green door. So, blue, red, uh, blue, red, green, yellow? Blue, red, yellow, green. Wait. If you were station... to go from oh, yeah, right yeah. Blue, blue, to Blue, red, left. yellow, green. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The train's route is the same every day. It always begins and ends its route at this station. It then heads to the station furthest east, the only time in the day it goes that far eastward. It then heads all the way west, making a stop at each of the stations along the way. The train then heads back east by one, and then goes backward the way it came... What? Who designed this? No wonder they're out of order! <laughs> it then ends its route and comes the rest of the night. The route it takes also doubles as the release... Really? Yeah. Right. Really? <laughs> Who would do this? Who wouldn't do Why it is the would... question. <laughs> what? Who wouldn't do it is the question. If I was designing Anyone... a train station, I'd do it. <laughs> Anyone who didn't want anyone to be able to figure it out with a pen and paper? <laughs> okay. Now it... Okay, it goes blue, red, yellow, green. Trains roost the same day, starting and ending there. It then heads to the station furthest east. Wait, east was... Blue. Was it, it was blue, okay. It then all, heads all the way west, making it stop at each of the stations. So, blue, red, yellow, green. So I'm going to make note of this. And see if I'm correct without having to write it all down. I mean, I'm, unless because you want me to tell it, it to work. you, let's just figure it out. Blue, red, yellow, green. The train then heads back east by one, so yellow. Then goes backward the way it came to the west by one, so green again. It then ends its route and comes to rest for the night. 
So it's blue, red, yellow, green, yellow, green. Okay, we'll see if I'm right. Um, let's hope I'm right. To find out. A garbage can. Can't say I see anything of use. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look like a garbage can to me. It looks like a little thing of trees. Oh my. Okay. Enter in the passcode. This is not... Uh... Okay, I don't have it right. Yep, it needs an 8-bun combination. You have a 6-1 right now. Green, yellow, green... Um... Yellow, red? I'll tell you something. I programmed that goddamn control panel in the worst possible way I could have programmed it in. It literally has... I in, Instead of making it some easy system, it literally is programmed with every possible combination you could put into it. Why? I did it... Because I... <laughs> I don't Why know. not just to have it say if you if you put in this correct if you don't put this in incorrect? This was one of the first games I put together. Uh, the story I'll tell you the story of the development of this one a bit later. But back when I was doing this, I hadn't thought of that. So instead, I just literally in it I have every single possible combination it could be. Ryan, I've never made a game that would never do that to myself. <laughs> Learning... I've done stupid things trying to build a game, and I would never do that to myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm just... That's what happens. So, let's read that note again, and I'll see... I don't... Just to confirm, I don't have to do anything with this, right? No, I don't have to do anything with that. Everything you need is all right in front of you. Okay. I might have uh, passed Unless by what I meant to... The exception to that rule might be if you wanted to get a pen and paper. <laughs> yeah. I have a... I actually have a pen in my hand, which I wrote on a, uh, I wrote on a receipt to write down the code that I had made up, and let's see. Yes, train runs a straight line. There are four stations in a different color door at each station. Blue, red, yellow, green. Same as, da. Um, Okay. It will only ever go that far eastward that one time in the day. It then heads all the way west, making a stop at each of the stations all the way, ending at green. The train then heads back east by one, then west by one, and then it ends it through its route and comes to rest for the night. Um, okay, I have an idea what it could be. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I'm correct. I'm curious to see what you think. Okay. I'm going to enter it in, instead of the way I did before, as red, blue, red, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. Nope. I'll tell you this, you were super close. I make a mistake. Um, red, blue, red, yellow, green. I thought this was the one I did last time. Okay, no. What could it be then? I'll tell you, you just have one thing off right now. Um, does it show me anywhere around here? No, it's everything he needs in the note. I'll tell you. No, I, okay, everything's in the note. Yep. A note is plastered here. It seems we're ready for the train station. The train runs in a straight line. There are four stations, and a different color door opens at each of the stations. The station furthest east opens the blue door. Then the next one east opens the red door. Then the first one opens the west door. And then the furthest west opens the green door. The train's route is the same every day and always begins and ends its route at the station. It then heads to the east, heads to the station furthest east the only time of the day it goes that far. So blue will only pop up once. 
It then heads all the way west, making a stop at each of the stations along the way. Then it goes red, yellow, green, then yellow, then green, then I think it would be yellow again. Want me to tell you? Will you give me any kind of hint? The first and the last station are the same, because it ends and starts its route at the same spot every night. Okay. Okay. Okay, um... I'm just gonna punch in a couple things. Alright. I'm going to try I think it'd be that but it's not it only comes there once red Blue, yellow, green, yellow, green, red. Wait, so scrap. close. <laughs> yeah. I... Okay. Red, blue, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, red. It only ever goes that far to blue once. Correct. So it has to... Okay. Uh, why am I not getting this? Is it, as hard, is it as complicated as I'm making it? No, it's pretty simple, actually. But this is a puzzle which purposely is a lot simpler than it seems. This Sorry. seems to be... <laughs> You're so close! Oh my god. Blue, yellow, green, yellow, green. I don't... I don't understand how making this... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you keep making the same two mistakes and I can't help it. It's like you don't make both of them at the same time. You make one of them when you get the other one right. <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> Ryan, I'm too stupid, tell me! Okay, so open it up and I'll explain the process. And it's all in the note, but there's two tricks I put in the note, which if you read it carefully, you can pick up on, but I'll just tell you. So go to the panel, start the thing. So the station that you're at is the red station. It begins and ends through that every day at the red station. And if you pay attention, how you know it's this station is because if you look at the part where it says the different colored stations, this station is the red station. It says the station on every one except the red station which says this station. So okay. red is the first one. And then you go to blue. Because it says far east where it goes. Then it goes red, yellow, green because it makes a stop at each of the stations as it goes westward. Wait. I've... And then you go to yellow, because it goes to the east by one. Then it goes back west to green. And then it comes to rest at the night red. I realized my mistake. I forgot to hit red right after I did Yep. Every, oh my god. So, I'm... It, was, it was so funny, because every single time you would get the red one last, you would always skip red when you went to the west. And then any time that you guessed yellow, you would get red every time. <laughs> I'm so dumb because I had it correct and I I figured we were at the red station. I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong until I realized as I was putting in right there that I skipped red half the time. Yeah, and you skipped it every time you put yellow as the last station. <laughs> and whenever you guess red as the last station, you would skip it. I was amused. It train security should now be unlocked. Yay! Yay! It's been fun to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. A lot of people have difficulty in that puzzle. Some get it immediately. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate this puzzle! <laughs> the train is parked here. It's now unlocked. I need to enter through the red door. Consistency. Mm. 
It starts with an itch and a tingle And then it builds and expands And suddenly all at once My legs won't let me stand I scratch till my fingers go numb But my skin never bleeds A silent accomplice waits and feeds When I'm asleep There's something that lives inside me I promise I never Yeah.